Hey everyone, let's talk about phones. We love them, right? They're our lifelines, our entertainment centers, our everything. But here's the thing, our phones can also be a target for hackers. That's right, those sneaky digital ninjas are always looking for new ways to steal our information, and one of their favorite weapons is something we use every day, text messages. You know those little messages we use to chat with friends, family, and that weird aunt who always sends those chain letters? Yeah, those can be used for evil too. It's called an SMS attack, and it's more common than you might think. Think about it, we trust texts, right? We assume they're from who they say they are. But hackers can exploit that trust to trick us into giving them access to our phones and all the juicy information inside. Scary, huh? But don't worry, I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to arm you with the knowledge you need to protect yourself. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive into the wild world of SMS attacks and how to avoid falling victim to them. Okay, so what exactly is an SMS attack? In a nutshell, it's a type of cyber attack where hackers use text messages to trick you into doing something you shouldn't, like clicking on a malicious link or giving away your personal information. One common type of SMS attack is called phishing. You know those emails you get from princes offering you millions of dollars? Phishing is like that, but through text. Hackers will send you messages pretending to be from a legitimate source, like your bank or a delivery company, and try to trick you into giving them your login details or other sensitive information. Then there's smishing, which is basically phishing but with a focus on stealing your money. Hackers will send you texts that look like they're from your bank, asking you to verify a transaction or update your account information. If you fall for it, bam, they've got your banking details and can drain your account faster than you can say overdraft fees. And let's not forget about those malicious links. You know, the ones that promise free stuff or take you to websites that make your computer scream. Hackers love to slip those into text messages. If you click on one, you could end up downloading malware onto your phone, which can then steal your data, spy on you, or even take control of your device. Now you might be thinking, I'm not that gullible, I can spot a fake text a mile away, and maybe you can. But hackers are crafty, my friend, they're constantly coming up with new and convincing ways to trick people. One of their favorite tactics is social engineering, which is basically just a fancy way of saying they manipulate you into doing what they want. They might create a sense of urgency, like saying your account has been compromised and you need to act fast. Or they might appeal to your emotions, like sending you a message that looks like it's from a friend in need. Another trick they use is spoofing, which is when they make a message look like it's coming from a legitimate source, even though it's not. They can do this by changing the sender name or even using special software to mimic the look and feel of official messages from banks, companies, and even government agencies. Now before we go any further, I want to be clear, hacking into someone's phone without their permission is illegal. I'm telling you all this for educational purposes only, so you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Don't go using this information for evil, okay? Section 4 the high cost of clicking. What happens when your phone gets hacked? So what happens if you do fall for an SMS attack? Well, it's not pretty. Depending on what the hackers are after, they could steal your personal information like your name, address, and social security number. They could drain your bank account or rack up charges on your credit cards. They could even lock you out of your own device and hold it for ransom. But it's not just about the financial damage. Having your phone hacked can also be a major invasion of your privacy. Hackers can access your photos, videos, contacts, and even your location data. They can read your emails, text messages, and social media conversations. Basically, they can see everything on your phone, which is about as creepy as it gets. And the worst part is, once your phone is compromised, it can be really hard to get it back to normal. You might have to factory reset your device, which means losing all your data. And even then, there's no guarantee that the hackers won't be able to regain access. Section 5. Stay safe out there. Smart tips to protect yourself from SMS attacks. Okay, so now that you know how dangerous SMS attacks can be, let's talk about how to protect yourself. The good news is, there are plenty of things you can do to stay safe. First and foremost, be wary of suspicious links. If you get a text from someone you don't know, or even someone you do know but the message seems off, don't click on any links. It's always better to err on the side of caution. Second, verify the sender. If you get a text that appears to be from your bank or another company, don't just take their word for it. Call the company directly using a phone number you know is legitimate to confirm that the message is real. Third, 
Use a security app. There are plenty of great security apps out there that can help protect your phone from malware and other threats. These apps can scan your device for suspicious files, block malicious websites, and even alert you if someone is trying to access your camera or microphone. Fourth, keep your software updated. Software updates often include security patches that can help protect your device from known vulnerabilities. So whenever you get a notification about a new update, don't ignore it, install it as soon as possible. And finally, enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to your accounts by requiring you to enter a code from your phone or email in addition to your password. This makes it much harder for hackers to access your accounts, even if they do manage to steal your password.